The C1001 mm wave human detection sensor by DF Robot is a game changer. This small sensor has surpassed PIR and all other human body detection sensors because it uses a 60 GHz operating frequency millimeter wave radar. While ordinary 24 GHz millimeter wave radars can only detect presence, speed and distance, the C1001 sensor can perform more advanced detection functions. I will practically demonstrate its full functionality, but first, let me share some details about this sensor with you. Its features will blow your mind. The C1001 mm wave human body detection sensor can recognize human postures using a point clouding imaging algorithm. It can accurately detect if someone is lying down. It can precisely perform life detection, how long a person stay in one place, it can report if someone has fallen and it can also detect body static state. The thing that surprised me the most is its ability to detect a body even if it's not moving. Many sensors fail here. If you are using a PIR sensor, stop using it now because with the C1001 mm wave radar, you don't need to move. You know well that a PIR sensor won't detect you if you don't move. So you can't use PIR sensors efficiently in rooms. You can't use them in bathrooms and public toilets or outdoors during the day. And their range is also limited. Let's discuss a real world problem. Let's say you want to design a system for your room so that the lights stay on while you are reading a book, watching TV or just sitting on the sofa using your cell phone. Can you do this with a PIR sensor? Well, never because to trigger a PIR sensor, you need to move in front of it. Otherwise, the lights in your room will turn off and you will have to wave your hand to turn them back on. So a PIR sensor will make you dance like a monkey. But if you use the C1001 mm wave human detection sensor, you won't face any such issues. You can use it in public toilets to easily know if someone is there or not. You can also use it for security purposes. And it doesn't stop there. It can not only detect all kinds of human prisons, but also the C1001 mm wave human detection sensor can continuously record if a person is there and can judge their sleep state, breathing and heart rate based on body movement during sleep. After a period of sleep, it gives a sleep score and combines the sleep data with the healthcare applications. Its working voltage is 5 volts, working current is less than or equal to 100 milliamps. Operating frequency is 61 to 61.5 gigahertz. Transmit power is 6 dBm. Maximum detection distance is 11 meters. Radar detection angle is 100 by 100 degrees. Working temperature is from minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 60 degrees Celsius. Sleep detection distance from chest is 0.4 to 2.5 meters. Respiration and heartbeat detection distance from chest cavity is 0.4 to 1.5 meters. Respiration measurement range is 10 to 25 times per minute. Heart rate measurement accuracy is 80%. Heart rate measurement range is from 60 to 100 beats per minute. The radar module's beam coverage is shown in the figure. The radar covers a 3D area with a horizontal angle of 100 degrees and a pitch angle of 100 degrees. To ensure accurate radar detection, please install it at the top. For the sleep monitoring, you know the radar coverage is a three-dimensional sector area with a horizontal angle of 40 degrees and a pitch angle of 40 degrees. Within the radar detection range, to accurately detect human presence, breathing and heartbeat during sleep, the radar must be installed correctly. The radar should be oriented as you can see in the image. The radar should be tilted downward at an angle of 30 to 45 degrees. There is no special installation requirement for human's presence detection like for example if you want to monitor the presence of someone in a particular area, it can be placed on top or on the side, there is no special requirement. However, for the breathing and heart rate monitoring, they need to be 1.5 meters in front of the person and facing their chest. VN is the power supply, GNT is the ground. Rx and Tx are for the serial communication. Io1 is the human present status level output 3.3 volt. Io2 is false status level output 3.3 volt. Let's first solder these mail headers and then we will start the interfacing and programming. 
I only have this one sensor and I don't want it to get damaged. So I'm going to use the and install digital microscope and this pointed soldering bit. I've already made detailed videos about the hand install digital microscope and different types of soldering bits. You can find links to all the related videos in the description below. So as you can see, the C1001 millimeter wave sensor is now ready. As you can see, I have connected the MM wave sensor to the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. I'm using this ESP32 development board because I have already added a 5 volt relay to it. So I don't need to do extra wiring. In the final example, we will use this to control a light, but for now you can completely ignore this relay. I have already explained the design of this board in detail. Anyway, interfacing the sensor is very simple. You need to connect the VN and ground pins of the C1001 mm wave human detection sensor to the 5 volt and ground pins of the ESP32. Then connect its RX and TX pins to the ESP32's GPIO pins 17 and 16. For the connections, you can follow this circuit diagram. Before you start the programming, you need to add the DF robot human detection library to the Arduino IDE. You can download this library from my article or from the product's official page. I have added links in the description below. To add it in the Arduino IDE, simply go to the sketch menu, then to include library, and click on the add.zip library. Browse to the location, select the zip folder, and then click on the open button. As you can see, I have already added this library. This program is for sleep detection mode. You can download it from our website or from the product's official page. The MMWave sensor successfully detected my presence and monitored my body movement parameters, respiration rate and heart rate. For the best performance in sleep detection mode, you need to follow the correct installation procedure, which I have already explained in detail. This program is for fall detection mode. In this mode, the MMWave sensor successfully detected my presence and motion information. When I was standing, it showed the status is not fallen. And when I acted like falling, it successfully detected it. For fall detection mode, you need to install the sensor on the ceiling of the bathroom. Next, we will use this sensor to control the light. I want the light to stay on while I'm sitting on this chair and turn off when I leave. If you want to control fans, AC and other loads along with the lights, you can simply increase the number of relays. This 5 volt SPT type relay is connected to GPIO 13 of the ESP32. You can use this relay to control any AC or DC load. When the 110 or 220 volt AC supply is connected, never touch the relay contacts as it can be extremely dangerous. It is important to note that when working with mains voltage proper safety precautions should always be taken and it is advisable to consult relevant electrical codes and standards. For the connections, you can follow this circuit diagram. This is basically the sleep mode code which I have modified to make it an automatic light controller. Now you can use the C1001mm wave human detection sensor to control lights, buzzer or anything else based on human presence. I have removed unnecessary instructions from this program. While working on this project, I tested the MM wave sensor many times and it worked great every time. As long as I was sitting in the chair, the light never turned off and there was no false triggering. When I got up from the chair and left, the light turned off automatically. And when I came back, the light turned on automatically. The good thing about this sensor is that it can detect you even if you are completely still. And that's what I like the most about it. I'm very impressed with this sensor. We can use it in labs, toilets, kitchens, bathrooms, libraries, bedrooms, living rooms, outdoors, and anywhere else. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.